Zachariah, Zachariah, twelve. Then, rather, the burden of the word of Yahuwah for Yashadael, says Yahuwah, which stretches forth the heavens and lays the foundation of the earth and forms the ruach of man within him. Behold, I will make Eth Yerushalayim a cup of trembling unto all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege, both against Yahudah and against Yerushalayim. And in that day will I make Eth Yerushalayim a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, says Yahuwah, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will openeth my eyes upon the house of Yahudah and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. And the governors of Yahudah shall say in their heart, The inhabitants of Yerushalayim shall be my strength in Yahuwah Sevaoth Elohehem. In that day will I make eth the governors of Yahudah like a hearth of fire among the wood, and like a torch of fire in a sheaf. And they shall deliver eth all the people round about, on the right hand and on the left. And Yerushalayim shall be inhabited again in her own place, even in Yerushalayim. Yahuwah also shall save eth the tents of Yahudah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Yerushalayim do not magnify themselves against Yahudah. In that day shall Yahuwah defend the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as Elohim, as the angel of Yahuwah before them. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy eth all the nations that come against Yerushalayim, and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Yerushalayim the Ruach Chain Vaktach Nunamim, and they shall look upon me, F, whom they, they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourns for his Yahid, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Yerushalayim as the morning of Hadad Rimon in the valley of Megiddo. And the land shall mourn, every family apart, the family of the house of David apart, and their women apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, and their women apart the family of the house of Levi apart, and their women apart, the family of Shemi apart, and their women apart. All the families that remain, every family apart, and their women apart.